Hello! It's been a hot minute since I posted here, so if you're watching this, thank you for not forgetting about me. Today's video is something that I'm very excited for and very also nervous for. Basically, I'm going to be painting a pair of Doc Martens. First of all, if you don't know, I have a somewhat medium collection of Doc Martens, and I posted about it a little bit on this channel, but then I kind of forgot to. For context, I'm somewhat of a Doc Martens enthusiast, but like not really. Anyways, this video was actually inspired because I was on... Depop or Poshmark? One of the two and I was looking for just like vintage pairs of Doc Martens and I just kept seeing customized pairs of Doc Martens. Like people would just like paint them and then sell them and they looked so cool. And I was like, wow, that's such a fascinating idea. I want to try my hand at that. I didn't plan on making this a video. So I want to take a little bit to tell you the steps that I've already taken towards this because now we're like actually at the part where like I'm going to be painting them. But this wasn't like some like impulsive decision that I'm like, yeah, I'm going to paint a pair of Doc Martens. Like here I am. You know, I've actually been working on this for like a couple days now. The first thing that I did is pick my shoes that I want to paint and then I opened up a picture of them in Procreate and did kind of a mock-up of a design that I would want to do. Something like this is kind of my inspiration really. Then from there I actually got some black pieces of paper and I began doing kind of swatches, color combinations, things like that, seeing what paint was going to look the best on a black surface and I realized the yellow didn't really look great so I actually went with blue and also during this time I learned that I didn't know how to paint a rose so I actually went on WikiHow and learned how to there. So that's living proof that you can learn how to do anything on WikiHow. So then from there, I did a bunch of different tests with like swatches and techniques and everything like that. Then I cut them out and put them up to the shoe and realized that I was making them way too big. So I had to go back to the drawing board and only make them about the size of a quarter. So here's kind of like a little bit of a mock-up of the design. Please focus on this and not my face. There we go. Also, because I'm gonna be doing some elements of splatter paint, I aggressively taped off the parts of the shoe that I didn't want splatter paint to get on, although I should probably also cover this because like it's not that far. I'm gonna be doing a light hand anyways, so it's probably not that big of a deal. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna splatter paint these, and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna paint the rest. All right, let's go outside. <laughs> Okay guys, well, that was fun. Some things to note. One, the splatter paint got a little bit messier than I thought it would. Um, the painter's tape that I did have on worked to stop a lot of the excess flicks, but there definitely were some that got outside of the lines, especially on one pair of shoes where I positioned it where the exposed side was facing towards me for whatever reason. So it just definitely got a little bit messy, but it's okay. I peeled the tape back and with a magic eraser and enough elbow grease I was actually able to get the rogue splatters off for the most part. Here is the shoe with just the splatter paint. I actually really like it. I think it turned out really cool. Um, it almost looks like kind of like broken glass or like vines or something like that. Definitely wasn't how I anticipated for it to be, but I think it looks really good and I'm just gonna roll with it. I honestly, like if I didn't have my mind set so much on like the florals, I would probably just leave it how it is, but I've like had this concept in my mind for so long that like I have to do it at this point. Hello overhead view, we're here. Oh, I didn't get any of this because no one's gonna see that. So up here, there's like three roses in the concept that I did. I don't know if I'm still gonna do that or not. It depends on how space is gonna work, but I figured I would show you how I do one of the roses. So what I do first is put just a dab of this color and then a dab of this color. ASMR. And then just take like a little bit of white and a little bit of blue. And you just kind of go down here, make a little bit of a gradient. Um, I do this on black paper, at least for right now, because it gives me a better idea of how it's gonna look on the shoe. Although we did do a generous helping of spotter paint, so I don't think it will look that different. I'm so nervous. I feel like the last like four days have led up to this moment and it's like, ah. Uh. So I think I'm gonna do it right here. This is also a lot harder on a shoe because I rotate the piece of paper, but like this one, you can't really. Wow, that looks actually like really good. I'm so impressed with myself. Oh my God, shoot, this might actually work. Then I'm just gonna continue to do this until I can't go a little bit more into the center. So these are kind of the outer petals that I have so far. I'm an artist. I actually did something like cool on this channel. Wow, only took a year. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so that's about as close as I can get to the middle with the brush. There's a little bit of an oopsie here, but it's fine. So then what I do is I just take like a smaller brush and just kind of went in and made some like little designs in the middle. These aren't exactly like roses. I would say that they're kind of a mix between like an orchid, a carnation, and a rose. Um, but I really like the way that they look, so that's all that matters. So you just take a tiny bit of white, the ever so like smallest bit of white, kind of like work it in like that to create a gradient because this paint under it is still wet. And also this is kind of the time where you can clean up like anything. All right, so that is the first rose on there. Do a couple more and then I'll come back to you with like leaves and stuff like that. But I think it actually looks really good, yes! Those are the first three flowers on these. I am so happy with how these are turning out. I think that they look so good, like in person. I'm gonna go into, I guess, starting the leaves now. For the first coat of the leaves are down, I kind of have a general idea of where I want them to be. And then what I'm going to do from here is add some darkening towards the center and light around the edges, you know, just like stuff like that. I don't know if I want to do any of this stuff back here. I keep like making excuses to just like not do what I wanted to. So I decided to put some like whimsical grasses down there just to kind of fill a little bit of space down there. Um, one of the problems that I'm running into definitely when painting in layers, especially if I'm painting like a wet over a dry, is like the wet just immediately peels off of the dry because it's like a leather surface and there's no like sealant over it. It's not that bad. I just have to use like a lot of paint and then definitely when I'm done, I need to make sure that I do some kind of seal over it so that it doesn't just like come off super fast, which is weird because I had such a hard time getting the splatter paint off. Um, the last thing I want to do is I want to put some like drip marks down here, you know? Okay, so with that, one of my shoes are done! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go ahead because this has taken me about 40 minutes of filming. I'm actually going to do the other one just off camera. I'm gonna do it exactly or as close to this as I possibly can. And then I'll come back with the finished products, show you everything. Um, but I'm super like happy with how this one turned out. So yeah, just... Stay tuned. Hello, it's the next day now. I'm wearing a different shirt. Sorry for the continuity error. I got to the outro. I'm actually editing this video right now and saw that I forgot to switch my lens back to autofocus. The entire outro, it's like slightly blurred, which is like really annoying. I don't have any of my filming stuff out, so I'm just gonna really quickly film this outro here right in front of my computer. This is how the second shoe turned out. It's a little bit different. That's a good thumbnail. Anyways, um, so this is how the second shoe turned out. It's slightly different because the roses, I don't know why, but I started them lower, so they're a little bit more crammed up. I actually really like the way that the second one turns out. It looks a little bit more like messy, but like messy in a good way, not in like a bad way. Um, as for the shoes, I absolutely love them. I've been wearing them. I wore them yesterday and I also am wearing them today. I also just think that they're really cool because they're like handmade, one of one. You're not gonna find this anywhere else. You're not gonna run into anybody else wearing the same shoes as you, which is like great, fantastic. In terms of the 
like durability of these, I actually think it's not bad. I would have expected them to start even like flaking. I wore them shopping yesterday and like, I don't know, I've been pretty heavy on my feet and they've been a-okay. I just wanted to put some kind of sealant on it just to be safe, but overall, these are a success. Painting on leather isn't as hard as it seems because I literally used like the cheapest acrylic paint, like the cheapest paint brushes. It was all fine. So other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to go down there and leave a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you haven't already. I post new videos every single week. Also make sure to ring the bell because apparently just hitting the subscribe button isn't enough. Other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day today. I hope to see you in the next video. All right, bye.